So a few days ago, a huge amount of content creators and people in the community got their hands on another play session with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Some lucky creators even got to interview the lead writer Darby McDevitt, and one of these creators goes by the name of JV. Now in his interview, as well as talking about the historical story, the setting, the combat, and everything else to do with the main game, Jay got to ask Darby about the modern day of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now from this, we learned about Animus Anomalies, as well as how Layla story may progress within Valhalla. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down everything we've learned about the modern day story and time anomalies. So if you're going to enjoy this video, then click the like button down below and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed videos. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So one of the first things we learned about the game was that there are male and female streams in the Animus so that players can choose which gender they would like to play as. There is a third option though that Darby explains as letting the Animus choose for you. For story reasons, both female and male Eivor are equal for the lore of Assassin's Creed and when players finish the game, Darby hopes players will have found enough breadcrumbs of information that they can actually piece together what has been happening throughout the game. I presume this is both within the historical story of Valhalla and and the modern day segments. Now talking about the third option in the game, letting the Animus choose for you. The game will switch between male and female characters depending on the needs of the story. So it's basically the canon choice to allow players to fully understand what is going on within the story of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But he does go on to say that it will take a while for players to find out what exactly is happening and that he hopes it'll lead to a lot of fan art and discussion. Now I might be looking a bit too much into this but the fan art comment really really jumps out at me and I think that at the end we will see a wider, broader universe for Assassin's Creed and possibly some brand new characters. Why else would they people make fan art? It's like they do it for fun. It's also pretty defined when the gender switch will happen. There will be some kind of transition that will inform the player of what is happening. So it's also been confirmed that the Animus Anomalies in Assassin's Creed Valhalla will bridge the gap, Layla and the modern day and the historical parts of the game with Eivor. Jay then went on to say that Layla was actually brought in into a simulation within the Animus, meaning we finally get some more modern day gameplay and as all of you know, this is what I've been waiting for, I want more modern day. In your simulation, players were able to run and parkour around this space in which Jay refers to as a somewhat platforming level, platforming mechanics that reminded him of Brotherhood. Now in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, players were able to complete a bunch of different virtual training sessions in the Animus as Desmond. In these, players could complete a numerous amount of challenges in the main four aspects of the game, combat, stealth, assassination, locating a target and free running. Each challenge was of course laid out differently than the other, each raising in difficulty as the player progressed. As well as this in the modern day sections of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and within the historical aspect of the game, players could find a numerous amount of glyphs hidden within the world. Once found, players would then be tasked with solving the different challenges, ranging from selecting the right images from a riddle, playing chess and even looking around at a random image in search for a red dot that for some reason looks like how from 2001 a space odyssey now once you complete a glyph the player will be given a data cluster this cluster will have a short to each second clip in it now if you have one it's obviously not going to be enough so then you have to go and find the rest as well as that there are short little audio snippets that play during the challenges after finding every single one the player is presented with this There's nothing here. Strange, I'm seeing a massive amount of data. What does he mean? The miracle is in the execution? I don't know. Some kind of commentary on nihilism? He's playing with us. Unless... It isn't a video. Hang on. Launch it yourself when you're ready. This video is called The Truth, and after watching, players are able to parkour through a part of the simulation, and at the end, we finally get to see the man who has been leaving us these glyphs. Compiling subsystems, infrastructure, tendons, heart, voice, subject 16? <laughs> yes, <coughs> yes, subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. 
everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She... In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. Too weak. Must replenish energy. Don't go! I am with you till the end. Find me. In the darkness. Subject 17, Play. He was in the first AC game, another person captured and used by Abstergo who unfortunately died. Now as we know from Revelations, it is possible that someone's mind could be uploaded to the Animus, so that is possibly how he's here. Technically that's how it goes, obviously you guys out there know a lot more of the lore than me, even on an AC channel. So if that's wrong then obviously let me know in the comment section down below. Now at the end of the Brotherhood DLC, he leaves Desmond with a mysterious speech about the end, a traitor, and finding E. Now, we know Lucy was the traitor via the end of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and we know about the end because in Assassin's Creed 3 Desmond stopped it and unfortunately died. So what I'm proposing is that these will be very similar in Valhalla. The player throughout the world will have to find these animus anomalies and figure out certain challenges to get hints towards a certain video, cutscene, codex information or anything to do with the modern day part of the game. But who could be leaving these? Who is the one person that knows for certain how the animus work, the ones who came before and whose own hand touched an orb that was somehow linked to the Isu temple where Juno was released into the world and then fucked around in Abstergo. That man is of course Desmond Miles. Now I believe that with the time anomalies at the end, once we found them all, we will have a short cutscene where Layla talks to Desmond and Desmond warns her about some great catastrophe in the near future or something along those lines. It would just make perfect sense as there really couldn't be anyone in the Assassin's Creed world doing this, essentially repeating the steps of Clay and linking everything together. Or it could be like Assassin's Creed Revelations where we had those massive like cube things on the Animus Island where we found out about Desmond's childhood and what he did on the farm with the assassins. That could be very similar to Layla's story. Who knows? Desmond theory aside, Darby goes on to say that whilst completing these challenges, Layla will be talking to the other modern day characters, giving us some context into what they're doing and just giving us a more rounded modern day story. Also recently, Darby teased that Sean could be back in the modern day, the best character in all of Assassin's Creed, let's just be honest with ourselves. Now to me, time anomalies will be amazing and have such a great impact on the story and it should bring back older fans of the games. That's what I hope anyway. Now I just want to say, if you guys love Assassin's Creed and want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest information, gameplay and content, then click that subscribe button down below, like the video if you have enjoyed and comment down below how you feel about the modern day segments of Assassin's Creed throughout the entire Assassin's Creed modern day story. I also might be uploading an Assassin's Creed modern day video very, very soon. Talking more about the possibilities of Layla maybe dying. That is just a theory, a BPR theory. God, that was cringe. But anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.